I haven't made one of these videos in a while, but quite honestly, when I do make these videos, I guess, it's probably for an important reason. So, recently, I guess, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite childhood YouTubers. So the thing is, though, recently, one of the members of Venturian Tale, or I guess group of siblings of Venturian Tale, known as Bethany, released a video, I guess, exposing the truth of Venturian Tale. Now, when I first saw this from, actually, no, I found out about this because I had left a comment on a video that talked about the downfall of Venture Intel as a channel, just based on their, you know, it's just their channel dying. When I made that comment, Venture Intel had only died because of their growth, or not really growth to say, but just over the years, they just kind of, you know, fizzled out. People began to forget about them, and really all you see now from them, or the comments, is just people saying, Oh man, I used to watch these guys when I was young. Which kind of just proves that, well, they've pretty much been forgotten about, apart from just nostalgia purposes. But recently, as you can tell, Bethany exposed, I guess, not really, okay, not really exposed. When I first saw this video, I thought that Jordan would be the main culprit of whatever Bethany was about to say, but it turns out that, no, it's just really just about the dysfunction, sort of. So, if you don't feel like watching the entire hour-long video, it's alright, because it really just focuses on, it really does not expose Jordan exactly. It really exposes that Venturian Tale, kind of, you know, as a group of siblings, and how, you know, just seemingly their quote-unquote friendship as siblings, I guess, was run was actually fake all along. I mean, I guess in some ways it kind of makes sense that it was faked. Not everything is real on the internet, and not all friendship groups can be true, or at least, you know, not dysfunctional and just totally a shit show. But what kind of sucks that, you know, what kind of sucks about Venturian Tales is that it really did not seem like they were having problems. They really seemed like they were just a good group of siblings that were just really good friends and they would play games together. And it seemed like that they really, you know, loved each other or liked each other. And it just really sucks to find out that all throughout Bethany and Sierra's life is that they were kind of oppressed by radical Christian beliefs, pretty much, by that were introduced in their family values. Which just, you know, just sucks. Yeah, it just it just kind of makes me really sad for them. Because uh, apparently, according to Bethany, Sierra has basically just been cut off from the family because of her beliefs and also her changing kind of just who she is as a whole. And Bethany is sort of the same. And she says that the only time that, you know, the siblings... You know, just like Jordan and Isaac really meet up with her is when she needs something, like she needs help on something, which just, it's really sad. So it kind of proves that both Jordan and Isaac are bad people and that, you know, Bethany and Sierra, they were just kind of cut off. So just, I don't know, you know, Jordan and Isaac, they were kind of people I looked up to as a kid, you know, they were funny, they were, you know, they, they're the main people who inspired me to make, I don't know, start doing YouTube, I guess, or just, I don't know, get into certain games. So, to see them, you know, I mean, I knew they were Christian, but I didn't think that they were radical Christians, you know? I mean, the only limits I knew for them were that they wouldn't curse at all, which was great. They were entertaining, and they wouldn't curse. Perfect combo. And, you know, they would just, they wouldn't really insult each other. They would just, you know, sh shout, scream, it'd be really funny. But, I guess there was more limits. It seemed that off camera, really, you know, when they were children, I guess, it was a lot worse, pretty much. They would treat women like tools, or, I guess, just, you know, as like caretakers of a house. Because according to Bethany, when Sierra and her were younger, they would pretty much handle everything around the house while uh, Isaac and Jordan would do absolutely nothing. Just, just a really terrible situation all around. It kind of just, it just kind of makes, you know, it especially is sad for Venturian Tale fans, but there aren't that many left. And again, I only found out about this because of that comment. I would have never known that, you know, they they were terrible people had I not left that comment on that video, 
which I guess is a good thing, but you know, it just kind of made more, just made me more sad recently, given the fact that again, these guys pretty much raised my early childhood in terms of YouTube and just how I perceive content and just inspiring me to make stuff and also just kind of showing how as I've grown and kind of made my own beliefs and whatever just trying to believe in my own thing it kind of just shows that either people change or they always stay the same and it seems that maybe they were always like this and that we never knew about it because I guess Bethany and Sierra only really just decided to speak up once they were you know truly cut off from the family so you know I looked at Bethany's channel and she hadn't post she didn't pose for nine months before posting this exposed video and I think what kind of sucks about this is that because Venturiantel is now basically a dead channel it's like on the ruins essentially and I guess you know he's still pumping out content but you know it's not really the same it just it really sucks that he's not really going to be punished for this because he's just so dead that no one knows him but I guess in a way he kind of is punished. No one watches his content anymore and no one really knows who he, who he is anymore. He was, you know, one of the biggest, not really biggest, but he, he was sort of like a big gaming channel back in 2013 and now he's incredibly, in, like, in, you know, obscure. Just, again, really terrible situation all around, especially for people who are fans of him. So I guess this kind of proves how you know, just growing up in a certain lifestyle or just growing up with certain values from your peers or family or whatever can kind of shape how you are as a person. And it really seemed like Jordan as a person and also Isaac were just really funny, entertaining people who, you know, they just, they got along together so well. But I assume that as Bethany and Sierra made more attempts to become friends with people because according to Bethany he, she was basically never allowed to have any friends because of her you know radic because of her parents radical beliefs as Christians so basically as they try and branch out to get more friends and connect with more people they would basically be cut off from the family just yeah just kind of shows how in some cases religion is just kind of just just kind of a spoof just kind of a dumb thing they weren't allowed to have any friends. They were basically homeschooled their entire life. They were forced to do chores around the house, basically just be tools. And they were and Bethany was basically basically acquired depression from believing that all her life she was basically useless and just not really worth anything because just being a woman and this kind of extreme radical Christian, you know, right uprising as a child just sucks. I don't know, nothing to really say about it, but Jordan won't be punished, but I don't think it really matters because, again, he's a dead channel, pretty much like Atlantis at this point. It's like, no one really knows, like, not really Atlantis, but like, literally just, it's just dead. There's nothing there, it's forgotten about, and he may still post content, but it really doesn't seem like he has any chance of getting big again. He has already fulfilled his purpose on YouTube. So, yeah. It's kind of my thoughts. It just kind of sucks that, you know, all this happened. Hopefully, Bethany and Sierra will get some retribution in some way. I'm really curious to see how this all turns out, considering that Jordan's either going to have to respond to this, or he's going to have to say nothing. But I don't think really anyone's going to, you know, defend him, because... There, it's definitely easy to believe Bethany, because given how religion can be quite oppressive towards certain groups of people... So yeah, that's just all I wanted to say. Just a terrible, dumb situation all around. Goddamn voice crap.